Okay, so we're going to look at the surface features of the heart. Right now, we're not actually even seeing the heart itself because it's covered in the pericardial sac. So this tissue lying around the heart is called the pericardial sac, which, remember, is a serous membrane. So I'm going to remove the pericardial sac so that we can better see the surface features of the heart. Before I do that, let me just orient you. We're looking at an anterior view of the heart. The upper region of the heart is called the base, so this is the superior end of the heart. And down here at the inferior tip or point of the heart is called the apex. All right, so now I'm going to remove the pericardial sac. So now let's look at the surface features of the heart. Here again, we have an anterior view of the heart. This side of the heart is the right side. This side of the heart is the left side. The way I can tell that is I look for this wrinkle, which is called a sulcus. That's not on your list. I'm just pointing it out as a landmark. This wrinkle, called a sulcus, separates the right side of the heart from the left. And I know this side is the left because the left is so large that it also includes the entire apex. The left side of the heart is much larger than the right. All right, looking at the superior end of the heart, I can find little structures that are kind of ear-like structures, and they're a bit darker in color. They're called auricles. So this would be the left auricle, because it's on the left side. And then the right auricle would be right over here. Now let's name the chambers of the heart. The two large chambers of the heart are the right ventricle, and the left ventricle, and they take up the majority of the mass and volume of the heart. The auricles up here represent basically the ceiling of the two much smaller chambers called atria. So underneath this auricle would be the left atrium, and underneath this auricle here would be the right atrium. Now I'm going to name some of the vessels of the heart. Here we've got the pulmonary trunk, which is visible on the anterior side of the heart. And now I'm going to flip the heart over so you can see the posterior side. And here we can find, underneath some of this mess, the large vessel of the heart called the aorta. All right, I want to make sure you can um, understand the right and left sides of the heart from a posterior view. Here we're still looking at an anterior view. Remember that this sulcus separates the left side of the heart from the right. So now I'll turn the heart around so that you can see what these chambers look like from a posterior view. So here's the right side of the heart. We're still following the right side of the heart. This is still the right side of the heart. And now, from a posterior view, you'll note that there's another sulcus here, another wrinkle. And again, it separates the right side from the left. Uh, again, I know that this is the left side of the heart because the left side of the heart encompasses the apex. So this is the posterior view of the heart. Again, this would be the right side, the right ventricle, and this would be the left side, the left ventricle.